Hi everybody, from the Screencasting Center of Excellence in downtown Winnipeg, I am Kenton Larson, and you are looking at the Zinio Desktop Reader version 4. And I love this uh, on my laptop, and I love it on my iPhone and iPad as well. And what this is, is a very cool way to read your digital magazines on your laptop or desktop, and you can sync them with the Zinio app on your iPhone and iPad, as I just said. Um, Zinio, by the way, is spelled Z-I-N-I-O, uh, or uh, here in Canada, Z-I-N-I-O. And uh, it's really changed the way that I feed my magazine addiction. Uh, it doesn't have all of the bells and whistles and the motion graphics and all of that of, say, the digital uh, edition of Wired magazine, of their app on the iPad. Uh, but it does eliminate the need for a paper and give you a flexible way to read your magazines on the go. So it's very useful in that way. And I've converted a bunch of my subscriptions I used to get sent to me in the mail uh, to digital format, and I love it. So I'll just show you here. We're looking at, so this is the February. I've got Chicago Magazine, The Drinker's Guide. So uh, that's good, perfect for my, my uh, hobbies. And uh, what better... Uh, than drinking while listening to Credence Clearwater Revival. Perfect. So there you go. Everything I need for February. If you go back to January, oh, if I ever lose a limb in Chicago, I've got my 494 top doctors uh, right here at the ready. And I've also got Uncut's um, 2011 Best Of, the top 50 albums. And I used to um, read this. I love this. is my favorite edition of Uncut Magazine every year. Their, their pick of the best albums and the best artists of the year. And because it's a British music magazine, I used to have to wait months and months uh, before this showed up in Winnipeg or in Canada for that matter. Um, or I'd drive down to Minneapolis and I'd get it and it was maybe a couple months um, after the fact. But now I get it delivered digitally even before uh, they have it on the newsstand in England. So it's really cut down on the time that it takes to have it delivered. So I'm going to click on this particular edition so you can see what it looks like. So you just double click and there it is. It looks really nice. Uh, it's a very dynamic view and magazine quality for sure, but I would say even better than magazine quality um, on a high def screen. So uh, what we've got here in the lower right corner, we can see the cover of the magazine here. There's nothing here until we open the magazine over here on the left until we open it. But probably the the uh, part of this reader that you use the most is right over here in the lower right. It is the arrow, and that just turns the page. It says next. So we just give it a click, and there it is. So it's truly a digital edition of the print publication. There's the ad for the Rolling Stones, Some Girls, the, uh, the, the new edition. So there's that. And then we've got our table of contents. And... If we just keep turning the pages here, uh, if we ever want to go back to the table of contents, there's a couple of things we can do. First of all, there's a thumbnail grid down here in the lower right, and you can just click on that. Oh, and the whole thing comes up so you can see, uh, and you can scroll here on the right, and you can see everything that's in this particular edition. Oh, there's, there's Johnny Marr, for instance, including the advertising content, so it's all mixed in. You can double click on any one of these if you if you want to jump ahead. Okay, so you always have that possibility. If you want to go back to the table of contents, there's this uh, little switch once again in the lower right corner. And you just click on that. It takes you right back to the table of contents so you can easily find the pages. You can also, as you see, there's hyperlinks embedded here in uh, the magazine itself. Now, it's not dynamic graphics like Wired, as I said, but this is still pretty cool to be able to click on uh, to be able to click on that particular link and then just have that uh, article come up. So go back to the table of contents here. Hey, as well, uh, if you want to, and I know that if um, my mother was looking at this, she'd say, but the, that it's too small, I can't read it, I still need the paper edition. Well, if you go to the content here, let me we'll go ahead one more page, just look at something different. Oh, here's uh, The Clash. Um, all you do is you double click on the copy and it takes you uh, in and I've set it in advance to show me this is just about right for where I sit to be able to read it but if you want to change it there's a little magnifying glass down here at the bottom see the little pop-up box says zoom you just click on that 
and if you like you can zoom in or out as, uh, as you see fit and you can set a default zoom right there too i'm not gonna mess with it because i like it where i've got it so this is the switch though where you can take care of it so you get out you just double click and there we go just back to the full view if we want to look at the photo um, and also in the lower right you can go full screen if you want you just click on that and it uh, fills up the entire screen on your computer there's a search function as well and um, uh, in in this particular case it's sorted by re relevance over here on the left or you can sort by page number so you can sort sort either way if you're looking for something and over here in the left corner if you must print it which I don't think you should that's the whole reason you're getting it this way um, you can there's a little print icon there if you simply must have it in print uh, then we've got our preferences tab and this is uh, account information that kind of stuff there is the help key you can click in and there's um, oops I'll just move this and there's uh, all kinds of stuff you can read about in case you're having any difficulties uh, with the app you can also set alerts on Zinio when your new subscriptions ready though I usually don't do it I'm usually clicking on this every day um, so you have that as well you can share and I love this that you can just um, you can embed a widget and you have your embed code right here you just cut and paste it and uh, you can embed uh, the page on your blog so that's that's great I just think that function uh, is very very useful sorry clicked on the wrong one there all right you can also uh, post on Facebook there there it goes it automatically launches it and when Facebook opens up in just a second here here you go um, now I can write something here I can I can say uh, I love the clash which I do and um, it gives you the thumbnail from the from the photo people can click on it and read it and you can just click share link right there and it's that easy it's updated on your wall we'll do that we'll close that um, and lastly we've got a little icon here and in which case you can bookmark or clip from the magazine so you click on bookmark and I can just say right here I love the clash and then I can put a tag there the clash and it saves it as a tag and you just click save and now if I ever want to go back I just click on view favorites and there um, and once before I've said I love the clash uh, or once before I said love the clash this time I love the clash so I corrected it and uh, you can always go back and see those bookmarks and see those favorites so very very useful I, I just love this on my uh, on my desktop but I also love it on uh, my iPhone and iPad so I cannot recommend this enough it's available as a free download at uh, zinio.com I hope you've enjoyed this screencast thank you very much